Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome student. Today's topic is heat. Heat is a form of energy. Heat is a form of energy which gives a sensation of hotness and or coldness or coldness. This is the object, okay, if we touch, okay, then we will say that that object is either hot or cold, okay. So, heat is a form of energy which gives a sensation of hotness or coldness, clear? Now, what is the unit of heat? The unit of heat is SI unit of heat is Joule. What is the SI unit of heat? SI unit of heat is Joule. Joule. It is denoted by J. Okay. Capital J. Now, which Joule is also the SI unit of work. Okay. SI unit of work is also Joule and SI unit of heat energy is also joule. Another unit of heat is calorie. Heat is also measured by calorie. We will write CAL. In short, we will write short. The relation between calorie and joule is 1 calorie is equal to 4.18 joule. Or approximately we will write 4.2 joule okay the quantity of 4.2 joule per calorie is called the mechanical equ equivalent of heat the quantity of 4.2 joule per calorie is called mechanical mechanical equivalent of heat mechanical equivalent of heat the another unit of bigger unit of heat is it is measured in kilo calorie okay now the the energy value of food is measured in kilo calorie okay if you see some packet chips packet then there have been written that 100 kilo calorie okay so that energy if we eat that chips or any any other things we will get 100 kilo calorie okay so this is the unit of energy in the form of heat clear now the next topic is temperature 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 what is temperature that object if you touch you will feel that either hot or cold but how much how much hot or how much cold cold that gives that measures the temperature the degree degree or the amount of hotness and coldness is called temperature temperature is the physical quantity that measures the degree of hotness and coldness of a body is called temperature heat is the energy that flow from hot body higher temperature to a lower temperature look at this this is the hot body hot body and this is the cold body okay so both 
if both are comes in contact the hot body has higher temperature temperature is higher that is 100 degree centigrade and the cold body 10 degree centigrade so the heat will transfer from hot body to cold body okay from higher temperature 100 degree centigrade to 10 degree centigrade so the hot body lose the temperature and the cold body this cold body will gain the temperature this 100 degree centigrade will decrease to 80 decreases and 10 degree centigrade will increase okay and the transfer of heat is continue till the both the object having the same temperature both the object having the same temperature clear this is called the equilibrium condition equilibrium equilibrium means the hot body and the cold body hot and cold comes in contact then the heat is transferred from hot to cold and the transfer of heat till the till that the both the body having same temperature okay if same temperature okay if the both the bodies attain the same temperature that is called the equilibrium condition that is called equilibrium condition clear hope you have understood now temperature is measured by the instrument name thermometer thermometer the si unit of temperature is kelvin kelvin denoted by small k okay kelvin capital k other unit of temperature is centigrade or celsius temperature is measured by celsius denoted by degree c degree celsius or degree degree fahrenheit Fahren height okay degree Celsius is written is like that degree Celsius and degree F but Kelvin we do not write degree K we this is wrong what is the correct method to write only K okay Kelvin if someone write in that 7 degree Kelvin it is wrong just write only 7 K okay now temperature scale temperature scale what are the temperature scale the thermometer a scale of a temperature is constructed on the basis of two fixed point in thermometer this is a thermometer okay thermometer there is some scales are made in centigrade thermometer celsius scale thermometer the two fixed points is there one is lower fixed point one is upper fixed point lower fixed point fixed point okay fixed point and another is upper fixed point upper fixed point lower fixed point for the celsius scale is 0 degree centigrade and the upper fixed point is 100 degree celsius 100 degree celsius lower fixed point of ice this is called ice point this is called ice point and this is called steam point or boiling point this is called ice point ice point and this is called steam point 
ओके स्टीम पॉइंट फॉर दिस इज द लोअर फिक्स पॉइंट इफ समन आक्स इफ क्वेश्चन आक्स देर व्हाट इज द लोअर फिक्स पॉइंट इन सेल्सियस स्केल जीरो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड जीरो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड व्हाट इज द अपर फिक्स पॉइंट ऑफ इन अपर फिक्स पॉइंट इन सेल्सियस स्केल दैट इज हंड्रेड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड व्हाट इज द आइस पॉइंट फॉर द फॉर वट इज द आइस पॉइंट इन सेल्सियस स्केल जीरो डिग्री वट इज द स्टीम पॉइंट इन सेल्सियस स्केल हंड्रेड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड क्लियर नाउ इन फैरनाइट स्केल फैरन हाइट इन फैरनाइट स्केल थर्मोमीटर हैज ऑल्सो टू फिक्स पॉइंट अगेन दिस इज लोअर दिस इज अपर दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड स्टीम पॉइंट दिस वन इज स्टीम पॉइंट and this is called ice point okay now for fahrenheit scale degree f for fahrenheit scale the upper fixed point is 212 degree f and for lower fixed point in fahrenheit fahrenheit scale is 32 degree f 32 degree f this is the lower fixed point in fahrenheit scale this is the ice point in fahrenheit scale this 212 is the upper fixed point in fahrenheit scale 212 is the steam point in fahrenheit scale and what is the steam point in celsius scale 100 degree celsius what is the ice point in celsius scale 0 degree celsius is it clear and from here to here in fahrenheit scale there is there is 180 division 180 division and in 100 and from 0 to 100 how many division 100 division 100 division okay now what is the ice point ice point in kelvin scale what is the steam point in kelvin scale do you know the ice point in kelvin scale is 273 k 27